I am going to a CMO boot camp. Bye. Just touched down in San Francisco. You know, there's a lot of people that I know that I work with that, that, that have anxiety. I just finished the boot camp. And honestly, I just feel incredibly emotional actually. Basically, I am going to a CMO boot camp and it's going to be with 40 other CMOs being trained by the very best. One, like I'm super nervous because I've only been like a CMO for a couple of months and I'm like, what does that even mean? Uh, what does a CMO do? Please help. The CMO role that I do at Medic is probably very different to, to some of the CMO roles out there. My title is Chief Media Officer for one and we are like doubling down as a, as a media company and marketing roles up into media. My mum, who doesn't get to go on holiday very often, I called her up to say that I was thinking of going. Immediately she was like, oh, you're calling me because you want me to have a dog, don't you? And I was like, actually, I was wondering if you want to come with me. So my mum's coming with me as well. She obviously won't be doing the, the boot camp, um, although it might help her actually understand what I do because she said that a few times that she thinks I work for a cult. Definitely don't. When do we ever get the chance to go away with your mum on holiday and, and do something as crazy as that, fly out to, Slinky, you're not coming. And I just think it'd be really cool for, to film the whole thing, the whole experience. You're coming along for the ride. It's roughly 5 a.m. And we're just about to set off to London Heathrow, which would take about two and a half hours. Feeling pretty tired. and um, Didn't stop working until late last night. So let's go. Say goodbye to the doggies. Bye, buddy. Gonna miss you. Mmm, good boy. <coughs> Someone's not happy. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. We're getting breakfast about an hour before we get on our plane. Are you excited? Can we stop again? No. This is not even the right plane. Friday morning, about 7 a.m. I think. My mum's gone out for a jog and I <laughs> do not do that. Five days to the boot camp, being told I've got to get a COVID test before. I'm kind of like, where do I get a COVID test from? I'm a little bit anxious because I found out the first thing that we have to do to meet everyone is go out for a meal. But one of the things I really struggled with with my anxiety was eating out in front of people. I, this is going way too deep, but I, I am on Citalopram um, and I've been on that for quite a few years and that really levels out my anxiety. I'm not saying everyone should do that, obviously speak to your doctor. Oh my God, put disclaimers on here. I'm a marketeer and I'm talking about this oh my god now i'm bleeping and i think with this like i've come so far in the past couple of years from an anxiety point of view and um don't really suffer from that anymore but i think it sort of reminds you when you're going to a dinner with 40 people you don't know in a different country on your own um and uh you sort of i don't know it's that little bit of pressure like how will i react you know there's a lot of people that I know that I work with that, that, that have anxiety and, and I think that's okay. And I think one of the things that I've noticed is we don't really talk about it that much because you can't see it. I don't know, that's why it was really important for me to just share that way too much personal information with you. But um, people like me, like people watching this will, will suffer from anxiety as well and they'll have their own triggers. Uh, that's one of the things that I'm thinking about in the back of my mind is like the first time I'm gonna meet all of these people is for a meal and how will my anxiety react to that? Um, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm trying to tell my body that I'm excited. One of the things I, I think is really hard is to actually switch off, but I wanna check in with the team and I wanna make sure they're okay. I feel like they're protective mum with my like little bubble and wrap around them. And um, we, we really do have an amazing media team behind us. And I know they'll be absolutely fine and they probably don't actually need me. Although, please cut that out because I don't want to lose my job. Um. Hey, I'm on a beach somewhere. We've left the hustle and bustle of the city. But I wanted to record for two reasons. And the first one is I, 
I don't know what it is about being close by to the water, but it immediately calms me. I, this is just my absolute happy place this morning and last night, and I was starting to feel incredibly anxious about the course. And I don't know why I'm feeling so anxious. I think it comes back to just not knowing anyone. And usually when you go to these things, there's always someone you sort of know and you can talk to and sort of tag along around with. But um, I, I have no idea who's going. And I think that's like, kind of like, oh God, who am I going to talk to? But it's going to be fine. The other thing I'll say is it's really hard to find creative moments when you're just sat at your desk and being in places like this really opens your mind to creativity so yeah i will speak to you guys later i don't know why i always decide to record when i'm looking like this but i am getting ready now for the first day yes this is exactly what i'm going for i just had so much anxious energy around like it's finally here like all this week has been building up to like the boot camp. This is what I'm here for. Oh uh, yeah, so I went to the gym this morning, which for those who know me know I never go to the gym, just to try and get this like anxious energy off. My mum put it perfectly earlier actually. I'm bound to be excited for it because I'm gonna be in a room full of people who are passionate about the same thing that I'm passionate about. We're all passionate about marketing. Yes, I'm in full of in a, in a room full of people who are passionate about marketing, but they're like the elites. Um, but then there's little old me and like, I, uh, yeah, what am I doing? Like I've, I, I've not been doing it that long compared to some of those people. But I'm here and I have a right to be here and I'm gonna learn from all of these people. I might get one or two on the podcast, you never know. Uh, just getting ready now. And then we're going, I'm not gonna go like this. I might scare everyone. And in the words of the woman from Bridesmaids, I'm ready to party. CMO style. That's me, I'm a CMO. Hi guys, it's me. Um, just got back from my first day. Got my little name badge, doing the hamster dance. I had the best time talking to people um, in different industries, different parts of the world, um, hearing about what they do, their experiences, what got them into marketing. I, there was parts where I was like, my mind was blown. Download all of your core transcripts, put it into AI. You can find out your customer pain points, your um, decision criteria, your um, things you solve for, what people come in, the sentiment, and I was just like, genuinely mind blown by that because that's just such a great idea. Yeah, my mind, and I'm so tired, but in such a good way. So 7.30 start, and apparently if you're one minute late, the bus leaves without you. So I'm gonna hit the hay. All of my fears just ready for my second day with my, oh, with my little badge. They spelled the company name wrong, but <laughs> Second day done and I am very tired. Lots of sessions, lots of topics, diversity, corporate politics, leadership, executive presence, just so many different interesting topics and I have a full list of notes that I want to share with the team. One like big takeaway that, that I've learned, what got you here today is what's going to get you there in the future. Being good at Google ads or generalist marketing or that side of things, building a creative deck that might have got us to where we are today but it's not going to take us to where we need to get to um, and it's the other things that start to come in like business acumen talking the language of the cfo our executive presence our power and our influence um so yeah just lots to think about i got some cute little swag items as well that always goes down with a, a marketeer i love the little like laptop bag that is favorite as soon as I walked in mom was like oh I bet you like that don't you and I do so I've just finished the boot camp and honestly I just feel incredibly emotional actually I'm not gonna cry on video get back in that tear but I just feel incredibly emotional that one I've 
been able to have this experience thanks to my incredible CEO and my incredible team. I've got to learn from so many people uh, over the past couple of days and I've definitely made friends for life at this group. So yeah, it's, I am just, yeah, grateful, blessed, very happy. There's a lot that I want to go back to medic with and change. There's a lot I want to change about myself. Not necessarily myself as in I'm a terrible person, but um, just this, yeah, it's just, I am pretty much speechless at this point, so, but yeah, thank you for joining me on this journey.